Yes, guys, JTS here. We're going to show you exactly how to upscale the Tumblr wraps and make sure that you get it all properly upscaled with 300 DPI, which is what it should be, what they expect at Etsy. But as usual, before I get going with this amazing video, if you love digital products, you love creating, researching, listing, and all of that mad, mad stuff, then please hit a like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to share because you know what we do. We are sharers because knowledge is power. We've got to share that power. Anyways, let's go. So listen, I'm on mid-journey right now, and I'm just about to put a prompt. Well, I have put a prompt in. My prompt is this, flying books in watercolor style in a white background. Now, I haven't gone deep into it because you guys are here, and, you know, I don't want to share all my secrets. But now nah, the truth of the matter is, is uh, I didn't do too many um, bits and pieces in the prompts because I want to be quick with the video, yeah? And it's got an aspect ratio of 2,000 by 1775. It can be slightly adjusted, but that's usually a good 20-ounce skinny um aspect ratios decent nice mm. anyways listen but before you actually even design the thing guys before you design the thing you gotta verify validate that madness so what you really should be doing is you need to make sure that you validated right now as usual i like to use ever be my go-to gem finder the diamond finder the golden nugget finder ever be check out link in my description free access and basically this is the one where i actually find those gems so look at the one I'm designing right now. I found it, right? So under Tumblr wrap, right? Under Tumblr wrap, what you do is you go to Everbee, get the extension. Remember, free access, go type in Tumblr wrap. Now through Tumblr wrap, you can actually look and see good keywords so that you're actually designing something that's going to sell, guys, because you don't want to be designing just for the fun of it. You want to design something that sells. So I'll give you an example. Look, even just looking at it now, I typed in Tumblr wrap, search volume of 1852, on Tumblr app, on Etsy every single month with a competition of massive competition. So it's a zero keyword score, pointless. But when I looked at related keywords and I filtered it, so filtering means I'm going to start looking at specific numbers. So keyword score, I want a minimum of 80 because 80 is pretty decent to 1,000. Um, that's my sort of range, right? So obviously, look at this, nurse Tumblr wrap designs. Now that's not a bad one. Look, if you're going to design something for nurses, and that's a good one, because professions are good, by the way. Nurses, teachers, they, daily affirmations. Look at that one. Look at that one. Daily affirmations, man. That's a good one. But I'm going to do one for books. Because look, books Tumblr wrap is also a decent one. Look, it's got a keyword score 120. 147 search every month. But don't forget, it's actually more than that. Because with a few different combinations of related words, it's more. Competition 121. Uh, 1201, which is really good. So, for example, when I type in books, Tumblr app, at the top, look, keyword score is going to give me, which is going to be fabuloso, which is the one, right? I'm going to be quick with this. Look at that. 120. Mm, that's the one, right? So, I'm going to design it. That's how you do it. You got to verify, validate, go and design. Anyway, let's go and design. So, we're on mid journey. So, what I've done is I typed in flying books in watercolor because books is what we're doing. Watercolor is a good style that people love love to see uh and obviously look not only do you um do your ugh. so not only do your do your validation is go and check out the competitions look at these book ones book tumblr apps man see how much they're getting and then obviously actually verify it's a niche to get into that it can make cash you want to make cash right so what you would do is you'd actually need to go further and validate how much these are making right and i would do that but I've already done my research, right? So I'm, I'm going to go design. Anyways, and then remember, do that through Everbee. So, uh, yeah, so flying books and uh, with, with flowers. Because people like books and flowers. They seem to love that, books and flowers. That's, that seems to be a popular thing. Flying books with flowers in watercolor style in a white background, right? I'm going to get rid of that flying bit. going to come out with some weird stuff, man. Yeah, so that's it. There's my prompt. There's my aspect ratio. Boom. Yes. So let's see what it's going to give me. It's going to give me four designs. And then I'm going to go and do my upscaling. stuff. You know what I'm saying? Where's the flowers though? Give me four designs. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Remember, I'm doing this for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So I validated, verified. I like that bottom one actually. Not too bad. Uh, or maybe not that one. Yeah, that one. So let's go with one. And first of all, let's upscale because we need to upscale it properly. So step one in this process um, 
Yeah, step one in this process, I'm going to go for this one. Upscale number three, U3. Upscale it one time. One time. And then I'm going to go with uh, upscale four times. 4X. Got up. If you haven't got uh, 4X in terms of upscaling on mid journey, you need to go up subscription wise, I'm afraid. But let's just do this upscale by 4X. Okay, so we got our mid journey 4X. And uh, what we need to do is we need to save it now in browser. Save it in your documents. That's a really lovely, crisp, crisp. Look at that crisp image. Absolutely fabulous. Look at that crisp image. No pixelation whatsoever. Amazing. Yeah, so 4X works fantastically well. So I'm going to save image in my documents, my downloads. And then what you need to do, this is how you do it, right? Okay, so we need to jump onto something called Kittle. Now, Kittle is absolutely amazing. This is the one that's actually going to get you the right, what, exactly what you need. For Tumblr apps, this is absolutely fantastic. For many other digital pros, it's fantastic too. But let me explain to you why it's so good. So first of all, you can do your size. The size of the 20-ounce skinny is going to be, let me just print it. Right, so let's do the size 9. Point, uh, let's just make sure we get our pixels first. Let's go to inches. Make sure it's inches, because in inches, it's going to be 9.3 by 8.2. That's your straight skinny uh, tumbler. Go we'll check, yeah. Now, and then we're going to want a DPI of 300. See, this is the skill in this. We want that DPI of 300. Um, and we're going to create our page, yeah? That's it. That's the page. That, that's the size that we need. Now, looking at the dimensions of this one. Now, it's because it's upscaled. It's at 4,000 uh, 4, by 4,096, right? Which is a really good upscaled size. Um, but what we need to do now is we'll hop on and uh, upload it onto um, Kittle. And I just want to show you something very quickly. So, go to upload on the left, on the side. Remember, check out link on my link in my description free access try it out it's really cool and necessary so we go to the flower books and flower click open it's gonna upload it's uploading it's quite big so it's gonna there it is it's uploaded right it's uploaded so what we do is we put it on a the page there you go uh obviously we can uh, stretch it out to where we like Okay, stretch out your design however you want it. It's up to you how you want it, obviously. You could even get rid of the background if you want, but I think that background, that tone is quite nice on it. You know, so even if I kept it as it is, I think it's quite nice. The tone is quite, the tone is quite nice with this background, so nothing really I want to get rid of. Actually, I'll keep it as it is. Make sure I expand it. That's fine. So then what you need to do, see, if I want to remove the background, I could just got AR background removal right there. But I don't need to do that. I think it looks pretty cool as it is. And then I'll click download, right? So I could go download. And then when you download it, you just double check. I already inputted it, but just double check, right? And then look, all the information is there, uh, inches, and then DPI is there. And then download it as a PNG. And that's pretty much, I think that's pretty much done. That will be cool for printing. That's it. Click PNG and it's done, man. Hope you like the video. That's it. We're finished. If you like the video, please hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Don't forget to check out all my other videos on how to with tumblers and how to with zip arts and how to with all of that. Anyways, guys, don't forget to check out all the links in my description. See you on the next one. Take care.